Let's bring in our panel today to continue to discuss foreign policy expert and economist Michael J. Santo, an economist board member of overseers at Stanford University's Hoover Institute and former Na senior naval intelligence officer John Jordan. It's a mouthful. And back with us as well, Judge Andrew Napolitano and John Burnett. Gentlemen, a, a lot of fodder there in James Rosen's report. So I I'm going to let you decide what, what stands out most to you, Michael. Well, I think that what we see is a very strong commitment on the part of the And Michael froze. All right, so I'm going to go uh, toss it to you, John Jordan. What specifically stood out there in, um, uh, John, in um, sorry, in, uh, James reporting for you? First of all, the administration saying that there's no evidence of Iranian involvement. That's because they don't want to find it. You can't understand modern conflict, Katrina, without understanding economics. And the fact, the economic facts are these, that when President Trump left office, Iran's foreign currency reserves were at $4 billion. They're now at $70 billion. They were then exporting about four to 500,000 barrels a day. Now it's over 2 million, most of which is going to China. So if they fund undercover the uh, Iranian involvement, what you're going to have then is it calls into question everything they've ever done to appease Iran, never mind the $6 billion. And given China's involvement with Iran and China's heavy engagement in the region, it stretches, uh, it causes one to believe almost the point of uh, having is that it, it's, it has to be that China may have known something about this because China has an interest in destabilizing um, the West. So there's a lot to find out here, and this is willful ignorance on the part of the administration when they say they don't know if there's no evidence of Iranian involvement. Judge, I want to ask you, we, we've heard officials now say, obviously, Americans have been killed over there in Israel. Those are American crimes now, correct? They could be brought here to the United States. Should we be able to catch these people? Yes, yes. The American government would take the position that uh, Hamas is not the government. It's not the government. Uh, it's not the Palestinian Authority. There are ordinary criminal gangs, just like the Mexican uh, criminal drug gangs, where we have... Uh, arrested their leaders in Mexico and had them extradited here, the U.S. could do the same thing. I don't know that these people will be around and will survive the quite appropriate uh, and enormous Israeli onslaught to take them out. But if for some reason they do survive and the Israelis are not able to capture them, yes, the Americans could capture them, bring them here, and put them on trial for crimes committed against Americans in Israel. John Burnett, we're almost out of time here, but quickly want to get your thoughts on this. Um, that $6 billion, of course, uh, that uh, Iran has. It, it's interesting because we know that this administration, President Biden, has known about Hamas's connection to Iran for some time, but they still made this deal knowing that Iran supports terrorists. Right. So, so they should move very quickly to freeze those assets, get those banks that use our banking, global banking system to, to adhere to the need to freeze those assets. And uh -huh. it shouldn't take very long. Why? Because we need swift action. All right. We're going to leave it there. So I wish we had more time, gentlemen. As always, John Jordan, Judge Napolitano, John Burnett, please stick around with us. Thank you.